Hi everyone. In this video we will learn several things about link tag helper. We will start from what is link tag helper? What problem does link tag helper resolve? How can we use this link tag helper into our application? And the main topic how fallback works. So basically we will debug this link tag helper how it is working behind the scene you will learn lots of other things in this video so keep watching and at the last of video don't forget to tell me your feedback let's open the visual studio now here we are back to our bookstore application and in this bookstore application let's open the layout file this layout file is available inside this views folder and then inside the shared folder Inside this layout file, you can see that we are using environment tag helper and this environment tag helper is for the development environment and the second one is for non-development environment. In this non-development environment, you can see that we are accessing a bootstrap minified file from our solution. To increase the performance of our application, we can also use CDN at this place. The full form of CDN is Content Delivery Network and the main benefit of using CDN is that it loads the file based on your geography location. Suppose if you are in America then it will load this file from the nearest server which is near to America. If you are in China or England or India then based on your location the system will get the file from the nearest server. So this is the first advantage. Second advantage is suppose we are trying to use CDN for our bootstrap file and nowadays lots of applications are using bootstrap and since all these applications are using bootstrap it means they are also using CDN. If they are using CDN it means the data from that CDN network has already been downloaded into your browser and if that data is already downloaded into the browser then this browser will not hit the content delivery network again it will basically get the data from browser cache so these are the two main important benefit of using CDN now let's use bootstrap CDN over here to get the bootstrap CDN you have to go to the official website of bootstrap which is getbootstrap.com here you can click onto the documentation here on this page you can find that we have a link and this link represents the CDN let's copy this one go back to the application and let's just paste it over here so for now let's comment this previous line let's see what all we have over here so we have rel it means style sheet href the url for this file then we have integrity and at the last we have this cross origin let's remove this integrity now and since we are working into the local http environment so we do not need this https for now we can simply use http and since we have made all the changes in non development environment so we have to run our application in non development environment and how can we do that we simply have to go to the properties then choose launch settings and here instead of using this development we can use some other name suppose i'm using production okay now let's press ctrl f5 to run this application here you can see that everything is working fine as expected if i right click onto this page and choose inspect go to network tab and click on this css to filter the url again just reload this page this time you can see that we are getting this bootstrap.min.css from disk cache. So this browser is not loading this file from CDN network. It is simply getting from disk cache. So this was one of the advantages of using CDN network. If I right click on this one and choose empty cache and hard refresh. This time you can see that we are getting this bootstrap.min from this path and we are getting it from the server. By this time everything is working fine but since we are working on a network so there are some chances that there might be some issue into the server. So for example there is some problem into this CDN server. For example because of any region suppose this server is down and to make it down let's make some changes into the URL. Suppose we are using this URL and as you already know that this URL does not exist onto this server it means this server is not working very well. If I save all the changes, go back to the browser, 
This time you can see that our application is not working as expected. Here in the network tab as well, you can see that we are getting the cancelled status. It means this does not exist onto the server or the server is down because of some reason. And here you can see the entire structure of this application has been disturbed. Nothing is working as expected over here. So at this point, if we are using CDN, then we might be in trouble at some time. Using CDN is the best practice. But if we are using CDN, then we can encounter this type of error. So how can we resolve this type of problem? And the answer is link tag helper can resolve this problem. Let's focus on this link tag helper again. Suppose this is the server and this is my browser. I'm sending some requests from my browser to the server and this server is returning a page. On this page, suppose I have written a URL of a content delivery network or CDN. Then suppose I have these CDN networks. Now based on my location, I will get the data from the nearest server. And because of some reason, suppose this server is not working. So at that time, our application will not work. So to resolve this problem, we will use link tag helper. And since we are talking about link tag helper, so we will be using this link tag helper onto our CSHTML pages. Just like other tag helpers, this link tag helper also has few attributes. Let's focus on all of them. First one is href. So this href belongs to the CDN path. Then we have ASP fallback href. In case the path of the CDN is not working, then here in this ASP fallback href, we give the path from our application folder structure. Then we have ASP fallback test class property and the value. Let's implement all these attributes into our application. So here I'll be using ASP then fallback href. In case this student path is not working then I want my application to load this bootstrap file from this place. So let's copy this URL and let's paste it over here inside this fallback href. Let's use another attribute so ASP fallback test class. So here we have to give a class. And the second one was ASP fallback test property and the value and now we will be working on these attributes first for the learning purpose let me put some values over here and then at the last we will discuss how these values are working so here i'll be writing sr only then i will write over here position and then here we can write absolute i will discuss the details of all these values in just a bit at this place, you can see that still we are using this wrong path into our href. Let's save all the changes, go back to the browser and just refresh this page. At this place, you can see that our application is working fine. Although we are not using the right path from the CDN, still application is working fine. If I click on any of the page, then you can see everything is working fine. Let's focus on the URL as well. So this bootstrap.min.css which is coming from the CDN has been cancelled but this application is getting all the data from our local server. Let's update the path and let's make it correct. So suppose we are using 4.4.1 which is the correct version. Go back to the browser and this time again just hard refresh it. This time you can see that we are getting the data from our CDN network and we are not getting any path from our local application. So it means we have resolved the problem. If CDN is working, then we will get data from CDN. If CDN is not working, then we will get the data from our local application. Now let's learn how this link tag helper is working. If I right click onto this page and choose view page source, at this place you can see that this is the line that we have written for the CDN. So this is the REL, href, integrity and the cross origin. Fine. But below this line you will see that there is some more code. What is that code? So we have one new tag with name meta. So here you can see we have the meta. The name of this meta is stylesheet fallback test. Then we have a new class. Then it has a new class and this class is coming from this attribute value. So we have inserted sr only over here. So this class is inserted into the meta tag. Now let's learn how this link tag helper is working. Let's focus on these attribute values. So here into this test class, I have inserted sr only. Let's focus on this sr only class. 
let's open the bootstrap css file so it is available inside www root lib twitter bootstrap css and this bootstrap.css let's search for this sr only class so i am using this sr only class and this class is available inside bootstrap file so it is not a magic this is just a logic focus on the logic so i am using this i am using this sr only class and inside this class you can see that we have several properties the position is absolute width is 1 pixel we are just targeting this position property here you can see i'm writing the name of property position and the value is absolute now let's see how the system will verify from which path it has to load the file so we have two paths one is cdn second one is from our server how does system will know that cdn file is not working first this application will try to get the data from this cdn network file then inside this file there will be some style set classes in those style set classes it will focus on to this sr only class and inside the sr only class it will try to get all the properties if the value of the position is absolute it means the cdn is working fine in case the value of this position property is something different or we are not getting this sr only class altogether then this application will think that this cdn is not working and at that time this fallback href will work and we will get the data from this path okay this was the theory concept but how is this working let's focus on the script code if i right click on this page and choose inspect go to source and choose index from the left side okay here you can see that we are getting the same code this is the meta tag and then we have this script tag let's click onto this button to format this code okay so now you can see we are getting this meta tag and this is the script code so let's see how is this working here you can see we have four parameters a b c and d these parameters has the values from this link tag so one has this url then second one has the fallback url then we have this integrity and the other this cross origin now let's focus on few more parameters here you can see that f means document so basically it is trying to get the value from this meta tag and since the order of the css matters a lot so first we are using this cdn file then we are creating this meta tag it means by the execution of this meta line all the css from this cdn should be downloaded into this page and then we are verifying what is the value of this sr only class inside this sr only class we have written a property with name position and we are trying to get the value of that position property to absolute here is the logic if those values are equal then nothing happens everything is working fine if in case these values are not equal then this is the code that is inserted into the link url the value of a is position b is absolute c is this path and d is all other attributes so it will combine this c and d and it will insert it into this application at this point we can say that this is a very meaningful logic and it is not mandated that you will use this sr only class you can use some other class as well but you have to define the property and the value from that new class and everything will work as expected that is all in this video i hope after watching this video the concept of link tag helper will be clear to you If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button tell me your feedback into the comment section share this video subscribe to the channel and you can also join this web gentle youtube channel below your video player you can see that there is a new button of join you can click on that button and you can join web gentle channel thank you for watching have a great day